It's so weird starting a video in my kitchen. I never film in my kitchen. Ever. Da, 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 making our Christmas memories. Hello, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the kitchen. Yes. Today is one of those days. We are going to cook today. We are going to go through the roller coaster of emotions in this small kitchen that I like. I love, I should say. Today's video is going to be a one eight in a day, maybe slash meal prep with me because I have no food in the house. I need food to eat and I also need to meal prep said food. So you might come with me for that, probably will. But yes, today is actually my six month anniversary, say, with changing my life, being healthy, being fitness, being a wellness person, looking after myself, changing my mindset, eating food, not eating McDonald's every day. Yeah, I still see the comments. I do still eat a McDonald's. I'm not gonna lie. I do still treat myself every now and then, but it's not every day like it used to be. But I, honestly, I'm feeling so much better. I did my six month check-in today before I started this. I've just done it, sent it all over. So I'm just waiting on the response, but we are gonna get into it. It is currently 9.15 a.m. and I've been awake for quite a while. I've just been pottering about, but I don't like eating as soon as I wake up. If you've known me for a while, you know I don't really like breakfast because I don't like the idea of waking up and eating. I normally wait at least two hours before I start eating. So now I'm gonna make my breakfast and on the agenda today is scrambled eggs on toast. Actually, before we get into that, I'm just going to preface this by saying I am not a chef. I am never claiming to be a chef. I'm never claiming to know how to cook. I cook for my taste buds and my taste buds alone. Three, I am not a fitness guru. I do not know much about fitness. I do know nothing about nutrition. Everything I know is what I've learned and taught myself with a little help of my trainer. Four, please be nice. If this video isn't for you, that is totally fine. I will catch you in the next one. But this is something that I love to watch and I wanted to film it. My recipes are very basic and I am not even like being nice to myself when I say that. They are the most basic recipes you will ever eat and they are so filling. So don't expect an, an extravagant and like flamboyant and all this stuff that I do see because I want to try some of these recipes. They are very nice. But my recipes are like chicken and veg, meat and veg, scrambled eggs on toast, a protein bar. Like literally, I've literally just explained my notes yet. <laughs> Disclaimers out the way and done and dusted. Now it's time to get on with the day because I'm getting a little bit peckish. It's time for breakfast. I will say everything that I track is done through my fitness pal. I pay for like the premium bit so I can scan everything, it's so much easier. It's a little bit annoying because it used to be free to just scan barcodes, now you have to pay for it. But breakfast today is obviously scrambled eggs on toast. I use two medium eggs, I use liquid white, liquid egg white, okay? and I use a little bit of ketchup and a coffee. And that comes to 401 calories. My goal for the day is around 1450 give or take up or down depends on if I'm training that day I can eat more if I'm not training that day I eat a little bit less depends on the day today is a training day so we're going to the gym so I can go over my calories slightly if I want to if I get a bit peckish but I think I'm gonna be okay I've got some ideas of what I'm gonna cook later for lunch and dinner and I do want to get a little sweet treat that is not a protein bar so, we're going to work all that out later and then I'll let you know how it goes. Now that is the lighting. Breakfast is served. See, I told you, my recipes are so basic. I did alter it slightly, so I'll give you the updates. It's, it only had 56 grams of egg whites in. I changed the coffee for a cup of tea because I really fancied a cup of tea. So it's 365 calories now instead. So I'm gonna sit here, eat this, obviously watch some YouTube because what else are you supposed to do when you're gonna eat? And then head to the gym. I do normally give it about half an hour or so before I go to the gym after eating. Let the food settle because I know I'm gonna probably push myself to close to death when I go to the gym. If you're not doing that, then you're doing life wrong. Do you know why I add, why am I waving a knife at you? 
The reason I add egg whites into my eggs, even though I have two eggs, is because two eggs is not enough eggs. When you like scramble it up, it doesn't give you much egg. And I like to eat a lot of eggs because breakfast food just doesn't fill me up. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the same with you. I might need to get different recipes or just try something different, but it just doesn't fill me up. So someone through the grapevine was like, just add egg whites as like really low calories, gives you good protein and it fills out your eggs. So that's why I add egg whites to my two eggs. And like you can see, it's not that many calories extra and it gives me a lot more eggs. What are we cooking today? We need you. I think that's all I need from the fridge. We need veg. Okay. Okay. I need a little Welcome back to the kitchen. We are going to meal prep some lunch. Let's just address the elephant in the room. Yes, I look like I've been dragged through the hedge backwards. We're okay with it. I'm not going to redo my makeup and I'm not going to take my hair out because I sweated a lot in the gym today. What did I do? I did push day can't stand push day. Give me legs over push day any day of the week. Can't stand it. And do you want to know why? My left arm is a lot weaker than my right arm. So I can go either heavier or do more reps until my left arm just gives way. It just doesn't want to cooperate anymore. So it really frustrates me. It's one of the most frustrating days of the week in terms of gym workouts. So it wasn't a good day. But you did see I had a little energy drink this morning. I had a small can of Monster the White. And that's all I've had today. Now it is time to meal prep. We're going to meal prep the famous veg, mince and rice bowl. Honestly, this meal is so simple yet basic and filling. I live on it. I honestly live on it. If you go back to when I originally started doing like fitnessy, health, wellness stuff. This meal has been my day one and I will eat it until the end of time. It is so, so simple to make. I picked up some, well, I didn't pick up, but that is a lie. I got it delivered. I got my meat delivered from here. I've got the mince and I've got some chicken as well that I'm gonna use later on. But I have this, it's the low fat minced beef meat. Um, so it's like the extra lean one. So there's less fat in it. 505 kilograms then I've got my rice and I've got my veg I've got a fresh bag of frozen veg yes I'm a frozen veg girly come at me I prefer it this bag is I think it's 750 grams I'll use the whole bag oh gosh rice I normally do about 40 grams each portion we add a bit more because I still burn the rice so I always go over on the rice measurements because half the rice ends up burnt to the pan. It's okay. And then in terms of like saucy seasoning, I use a veg pot. These ones are so much better. They're like the little liquid ones, this. I've tried like Oxo cubes, I've tried like the powder ones. Nothing hits better than this. I know you can get like different ones, like the meat ones. I've never tried them. I've always just tried the vegetable one. And what I do is I put this in with the rice, so it's not just plain rice. And I think this is 30 calories. No, that's a lie, it's eight calories per pod. So that split over four portions is nothing. So add seasoning to your food. Obviously we do salt and pepper and stuff to the meat. But yeah, that is literally, I'm gonna do four portions where I might add more veg because that's only like 100, is it 185 grams of um, veg and I normally do about 200 to 300 per portion because I like to fill up on veg. That's a trick that my trainer taught me is to overload vegetables because vegetables are obviously low calorie and I can eat them until the cows come home. This is where it gets difficult because I obviously want to show you what I'm doing but this kitchen is insane for lighting. As you can tell, I have a ring light, or a box light, in the kitchen right now, and the only light is that one up there. Down lighting is not the best. The kitchen surfaces are dark, 
so yeah whatever you see i hope you <laughs> appreciate the work that i'm going to try and put into this to make it look pretty but yeah basically all i'll do is i'll fry off the mince meat i'll put the veg in a pan to boil put the rice in the rice cooker with the pod the little veg pod get that going and then we just portion it out into my little containers and i'll have four days worth what well, today and three days worth of food for lunch slash dinner so let's do this last year i nearly done this is what it looks like so it doesn't look that appetizing but trust the process okay so what I did is I made the rice obviously in the rice cooker and then I mixed it in with the cooked mince so that it all mixes together nicely because there is a reason one it's nicer this way and I always mix it anyway and two when you're heating it up like the next day or whatever it's so much nicer because the rice doesn't stick together because it's obviously pre-mixed in with the meat and the meat has all the juice in it. What I do now is I've got four containers out. I can't really show you. I don't really know how to show you. But I've got four storage containers laid out and I'll just distribute it between the four of them. I don't nitpick on like weighing this out because what I do, what I do do is I write down all my, these are my notes, a whole, ow! I write down, <laughs> I write down all the whole weights and then I just divide that by four and then whatever the average is is what I put into my fitness pal and that means by the time I've ate all four meals I will have everything that I need to eat between the four meals. hope that makes sense. But obviously if you wanted to you could just weigh out each portion as you're pouring it. There's nothing stopping you. I just don't particularly see the point because I am the only person that is going to eat this food so I don't need to stress too much about portion it out if it was cooking for two people maybe i would because obviously you want to make sure each person is going to get the correct amount of food but since there's only little army there's nothing stopping me from just eyeballing it that one needs a bit more the veg is still cooking because there's a lot of veg it obviously takes a lot longer than normal it's been on for a while now though do you know what i always notice as well when i like prep out my food the first like container that I always pour into is the one that has the least so I have to always go back and add more to that one before I show you this is what happens every single time I cook rice in my rice cooker I burn the bottom so I always take like 10 grams off so this is what each little container looks like right now we've got space here for the veg because there's a lot of veg and then I'll tell you the nutrition value of it right now is each portion will eventually have 358 calories with 33.7 grams of protein which does leave enough space to play around with with sauces because obviously this does look very dry so I'll either put like a zero calorie teriyaki a barbecue if I'm pushing it, I'll maybe put like a ketchup, but I don't really like ketchup. Maybe a bit of soy sauce if I wanted to, but I do that when I'm going to heat it up so that I can decide on the day or the time what I fancy, because some days I don't really fancy teriyaki and some days I fancy barbecue. The barbecue sauce I got as well is a low calorie one, so it's quite good. I'm going to add the veg and then we are done for the day in terms of this meal. Yes, every time the snow is falling. And it is cold outside We gather around the fireplace And no one cares about yesterday My favourite holiday It means so much more than words can say We are back, but we're not technically in the kitchen We're like on the breakfast bar So you can see my Christmas tree Anyway, it is currently 8.20pm 
and I like to eat my dinner tea as late as possible because that is when I get my cravings. I want to eat everything in the world, every piece of chocolate, every packet of crisps, not a big sweet person, but of an evening, I want to eat everything. So that's why I leave my food till as late as possible. This evening I have, I don't know if you can see it, mashed potato, chicken and veg. Obviously it's in a takeaway container because I meal prepped it. I actually meal prepped it after the one you would have seen, but I didn't want to show you like two lots of meals because I didn't want to bore you. Basic, keeps me going. But this is very dry and I'm aware of that. So in my little Beatles mug, I have gravy. I'm English. I love gravy and I smell the gravy on everything. I count the calories, it's okay. It's not that many. You can have chicken with flavor, spices, herbs, have it all. I put, what did I put on it? I put salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika on the chicken. But the mash and the veg, we need a bit of salt and salt in. I need to get my fulfillment of gravy. So I'm gonna smother this in gravy eat it up and then we are going to head possibly to bed. I'm gonna obviously wait a little bit before I go to bed and I'm going to bed literally just after I've ate. I'm gonna have a very cozy night tonight. I've got loads of work to do. I'm trying to do the separation thing where you do your work, i.e. YouTube, during working hours and not late at night like I normally do. I'm doing pretty well with it because I have some time off recently. So yeah, we're doing well, but I've got my to-do list for tomorrow ready to go on my desk. So we will do that, but for this evening, we're not gonna do anything. I think it's come to that time. I'm gonna love you and leave you. I'm gonna go eat my dinner while it's hot and I will catch you in the next one. I hope you've enjoyed this what I eat in a day slash meal prep with me. If you have enjoyed, give it a like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.